Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Just Out on playing Dark Souls 3, the weapon playthroughs. Last episode we did, I think we did, uh, Cathedral of the Deep? Like, we did the beginning of the Cathedral of the Deep? I'm not sure if I did the entire outside part and, like, a little bit of the inside. I don't remember. Today we're gonna go and just continue. I did get the Arbalest there, and I got it decently leveled up. And I also have only just, well, only just, uh, I'm gonna have to do something which is gonna be shitty, I think. That's like the fight against the digs to the deep. That's one fight that I'm scared of. <laughs> the rest I don't really care too much about, but this one is... This is, I think, the bane of my... It's probably gonna be the bane of my bow-only playthrough. Because... Yeah, hmm. I think all the deacon buddies are gonna body block him. Like, they are gonna body block uh, the, the Pope, which is gonna screw me over. I guess I'll see how it goes there. <laughs> Go and miss. <laughs> I can kill him. And he flies into the sky. Because what else do you do? Um, how am I going to deal with this situation? Because I can shoot him, but he's probably going to... You no, know, let's just go and see how it goes. I should be doing some damage, right? Or is he in defense mode? Does that mean he doesn't take damage? No, he does. 19 damage. <laughs> Did they take such little damage? 23. Ah, 6. <laughs> uh, I do have some fire bombs, which I can throw at your general direction. And then shoot an arrow to finish you off. Um, hmm. Can I shoot him in the face? It also does only 19 damage. Okay. Now we're gonna go in. Fuck it. I'm going in! Oh. As I get hit. It's time to go and actually lock onto the feet. Yeah, now I do 64 damage. Or something about it. Like something around it. Let me go and throw a firebomb to <laughs> actually kill a lot of them. I don't care if I get hit. At least not too much. I can take a couple of those attacks. While I continue to shoot him in the leg. Really? Fucking get out of here, buddy. Let me go and finish off his other buddy. There we go. Now I think it's just a giant enemy. The new uh, hit movie. Giant enemy. 56 down, like 59, 77. Wait. Hmm. I guess he does have a little bit of a weak spot. That's interesting. But my crossbow does like just about the same amount of damage as my uh, as my normal bow does right now. I missed. I wanted to go and do the Ferris uh, triple shot. Cat. You know what? I'm starting to doubt the usefulness of the Ferris triple shot. Okay, so the underside of his feet actually take more damage. That's interesting. There we go. Gotta get my drain shoes. It is pretty dang good that my bow and crossbow do like just about the same amount of damage. It's actually gonna be very handy for me. I think. Well, it just makes it so that I can... Like, it makes it so that my crossbow is useful. Well, I felt like my crossbow was pretty dang useless before. Okay. Oh, nice. Got him. He does not care. He just stands there and takes it like a man. Right. Um, I think I'll start by shooting this guy. Wow, he just did not give a fuck. <laughs> and then he blocks. <laughs> As all great knights should. 36 damage. 
I'm using wooden bolts right now. Or am I using standard? I think I'm using standard ones. Right now. Ow, you little shit. Let me go and heal up again. Shoot him in the... whatever. <laughs> Shoot him somewhere. Ah. Fighting enemies with shields is a ridiculous pain in the ass. There we go. Oh, he just takes less damage because of the perseverance, right. That makes a lot more sense. Come on, buddy. Ow. There we go, 72 damage. That's pretty dang decent. I'm gonna hold my shot for when he attacks. Come on. This guy. No. <laughs> no healing, brother. No healing, please. Right, this is actually gonna make these guys less of a pain. Quite surprisingly. Because these ones are usually the ones who are a big old pain in the ass. I'm pressing the button to roll multiple times, but nothing happens. <laughs> Bolts, motherfucker. I missed. <laughs> ah, I keep rolling too early with those freaking... Like, this enemy's attacks keep screwing with me so much. In every single one of my playthroughs. Very nice. There we go. Alright, cool. That's a lot of my... That's a lot of my ammo used. No. Oh well. No matter. At least that's what I would like to say. <laughs> but it actually does matter. Uh, wait. Hmm. I think I'll go and try to deal with the deacons. And if I fail, I can just run straight to the deacons anyway. I've already killed the giants, and that's, I guess, that's in my opinion, like, one of the most difficult, uh, like, one of the most difficult things to avoid when you try to run over to this place. Alright. I could summon somebody, but I'm not gonna do that. Oh, boy. Can I two-shot these enemies? No. You see? You see what I mean? You're gonna body block... Everything. That's 116 damage. How much damage did my other bow do? It does more. My my normal bow does more again. This is the issue right here. This is one of the issues that I was thinking about. Come on. I'll come to the one. No, oh, fuck you. Haha. <laughs> Oh, no. Let me go and heal up. Do a fair triple shot. Just do some damage to some dudes. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna wait until the soul leaves the body because... This is ridiculous. Where is the soul gonna be now? Cause I'm gonna knock him down now? Okay. Wow, I cannot... Wow, that's uh... This is becoming more and more shitty the longer I do this. And I'm not even at the difficult part of the fight yet. This is gonna be bad. <laughs> What am I saying? This is gonna be bad. This already is bad. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nice, okay. There we go. The thing is though, if I keep the Deacon boys over here, 
That means that I do get some time to attack the big Deacon boy. Like the Pope. Yes, gotta switch all of the freaking targets. Okay, this is where this is where this is where it begins. This is where it begins, people. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, so I can see that they're sending the curse shit into the sky. But I think that the Archdeacon still is still the one who needs to actually control the ship. I hope so in any case. Go and heal up. It looks like I was wrong, people. I'm also out of essence right now. Can you stop doing that? Can I stop these people? I'm dead. I'm fucking dead, people. I'm dead. <laughs> well, this is uh, gonna be as shitty as I expected it to go. Alright then. Cool. Okay, so, um, I do have some exploding bolts, and they do a lot of damage. Okay, so I think I'm gonna use F7 firebombs and some more black firebombs. Okay, I have an idea. This can go all kinds of magical ways though, this idea, because if I screw it up, I'm dead again. So, <laughs> I don't have any other ranged consumables that I can use, right? Well, yeah, I can use tongue pines. If this fails, this particular run, then it becomes more difficult because I'm going to be using my... I'm probably going to be using my exploding bolts against uh, the Pope. And his... And his folly. But well, yeah, I'm gonna use that and then also firebombs, I think. Those are the two things that I'm thinking about using. Against them. Like I said, I do think that this is the worst boss in the game for me to fight. Because of the fact that I'm on a time limit. As you just noticed, like... I do feel like I'm doing enough damage. Like, I, I was really scared that I wasn't gonna have... Any, that I wasn't gonna... Do enough DPS, but I am actually doing enough DPS to probably kill the Pope before I get cursed. But yeah. It's still not gonna be easy though. The first part of the battle is kind of annoying, but I should be able to deal with it. It's when the Pope arrives, that is the moment that I need to that I need to uh, put out all the stops and kill him. It's also kind of funny how they're actually protecting it. I did not think that they would do that in the first phase. But they do do that. Or at least I feel like they do. Oh yeah, fat guy. Come on. There we go, I don't care if I take damage. At least not too much. I'm also going to knock a uh, like one of my bolts, just in case. Come on. Can you fuck off, fat piece of shit? <laughs> Alright. I could still punch people, but I just noticed that it's not... Uh, like, it's actually not only the Pope that I need to worry about in the second phase. Which is scary. And very annoying. Hey, the fat dude walks in the way. Ah, uh, stupid assholes. 
No, 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 no. Okay. There we go. If you're wondering, I won't be able to obtain... Um... I won't be able to obtain exploding bolts for a long ass time, so... This is definitely the freaking moment that I... Yeah, I just need I just need to make sure that I don't waste all of them by dying. <laughs> Come on, stupid Pope bastard. Okay, I'm going to use my black fire bombs. No, 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 no. Stop shooting fireballs. Fuck you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Whew. Okay. There we go. The run is over, people. Alright. I had to use... I used literally everything that I had. Okay. Nice. It's also really nice that I got those exploding bolts. In the earlier part of this... Uh, of this stage. Because, my god. Without the exploding bolt... Like, the exploding bolts did a lot of shit. Whew. Okay, nice. I've also noticed that, I, or at least I think that the black bow, the black bow of bears, wow, no, the black bow of Ferris is not particularly that much better than the longbow. They do just about the same amount of damage. This one does have more scaling, but I think that the puncture shot is probably a lot better than um, than the Ferris triple shot. But oh well. Go and get rid of that shit and get the heavy bolts back. Well, All right. Uh, maybe I should first see about leveling up my arbalists. How many titanite shards do I have? I have one. I need five more of those. Go. Ah, true. All right. Let's go and reinforce my arbalist. Yeah, just continue increasing the damage. Nice. Right. So when it comes to my arrows, um, I have a sizable amount of those. I am running into some things for that one though. Uh, I'm still gonna go for standard for now. I'll go and buy a hundred. Ah, uh, wait. Maybe I should also go and buy like you know, standard arrows. <laughs> Go and buy a hundred of this. My god, man, that was... <laughs> I'm sorry, but that entire encounter was pretty freaking nerve-wracking for me. Let's go and level up. Alright, uh, I can level up once. <laughs> Let's see. I do need more strength. As... Unfortunate that it might like as fortunate as unfortunate as it may be, I do need a lot more strength. Which I think, uh, like, I'm gonna get some scaling out of my weapons, but not enough to the point that I would be able to, like, that I would. Well, uh, hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm saying right now. Let's just continue going, and I'll see. I'm going to need the strength anyway, so. Whether I want to or not, I'm gonna have to go to 28 strength. And then I'll start putting points into different stats, I suppose. Okay, let's go and see about uh, killing patches. With bows only. <laughs> Don't particularly need to kill him, but... 
I don't want to pay the amount of souls that he asks me uh, for his shit. I like for Zeke Meyer's armor. Secret. Fucking. I'm never gonna. I'm never gonna get it right. <laughs> it's going to haunt me until the end of my days. And I'm pretty sure that, like, once I go and play Zeke, uh, Zeke Meyer, yeah, once, wow, no, once I go and play Dark Souls 1, I'm probably gonna call Zeke Meyer Zeke That's, that, I'm, I'm almost 100% sure about, about that. Alright, let's go and open the gates. And let's go and reset. My time that I, t like, the time that it takes for me to get, to go through this game is quite a sizable amount longer now. I've noticed that like every single battle that I do just takes longer than usual. That's the only thing that makes this... Well... That's just the only thing that makes this playthrough different, I suppose. That and together with the fact that I feel like a lot of things are more difficult. But it's kind of crazy, man. The bows also give me an advantage in certain situations. Like being able to be really far away from a boss and be able to shoot him from far away is actually really good. The same with enemies. I don't have to be close up. Also, why are you not here? Um, you doing what now? I did open up the door, right? Yeah, the door is open. Uh. Hmm. I also sent secret over. Hmm. This is a little bit concerning. <laughs> is the game going to force me to fight Yorm with bow only? Wouldn't be impossible, but I also wouldn't like to do it. I also kind of want his Titanite Slab if I can. No, I killed the demon, I talked to him. And that's, I think, all the prerequisites that I need, right? And I can kill the, the deacons, it doesn't matter too much. I'll go and check him out, see if he's in the wall. If he isn't in the well, that's gonna be shitty. Because then something went wrong and I have no idea what. No, oh, he's here. Interesting maneuver. I'll go and make my way back over to the bonfire, <laughs> to the Deacon's bonfire, I suppose, and then just see if I can uh, make some sense out of this. Could also be that something went wrong and Patches is now going to appear. That would be quite nice. Oh, wait. Hmm. What does that mean? If Patches isn't here. I think I know why Patches isn't here, which is stupid. It's because I climbed the, la the rafters. It's because I went up to the rafters to get the freaking Arbalist. That is why he is not here right now. Because I could technically use the rafters to drop all the way down. I'm gonna re set one more time and if he isn't here well <sighs> then I get to spend 20k souls on a stupid key that's what happens this is one thing that I just hate about Dark Souls man the fucking the side quests are so convoluted and stupid and every single tiny mistake that you make can just screw up the entire quest line yep he's not here at least I don't think he is. I don't see him back there. Which also means that I cannot reach Rosaria, except if I go up the rafters, which I don't want to do, so... Well, I guess that means that I'm going to be spending 20k souls at a certain point on a dumb key, and... <laughs> get Patches in Firelink, then. Am I going to kill Patches, then? I'll see. I can kill him in... I can also kill him in... In Firelink if I want to. Ugh, fucking hell. The one thing, people. It takes me one singular thing. <laughs> uh, doesn't matter. 
I'm not gonna be fighting the Abyss Watchers in this episode, I think. Because it's already pretty dang long, but I do want to go and grab the fires. Like, I do want to finish off Fair and Keep. I'm also running out of Homeward Bones. Which is a little bit shitty. So I should probably go and buy a couple of those. Even though I feel like my soul issue is not too big of an issue anymore. It's fine. I'm really hoping that I can still do the Zigma the Secret quest because if for uh, whatever reason I can't, then I'm in a big old pickle because then I cannot send the Grey Rat over to Irithyll. And I also cannot send him over to Lothric later on in the game because he dies in Irithyll if Zeekmire isn't there. Or Zeekmire. And that is going to make it so that I cannot buy uh, Exploding Bolts, which is unfortunate. But let's just go and see if I can do it the other way. And then we'll see. Uh, then we'll see. If... Like, it could also be that I just fucked it up totally. And then I'll just have to deal with not having some pretty amazing arrows. <laughs> or bolts, in this case. Alright. Wow, well, I'm quite surprised that I managed to hit him. <laughs> arrows for life, bro. Let me go and... Let me go and get hit. That's what I'm gonna do. There we go. Skulls are coming this way, but I'm not sure. Can they reach me? Yes, they can. <laughs> well, and then they disappear. That's interesting. Well, you know what? At least I learned something today. The thing is, I needed the Arbalest for for the battle against uh, against the Deacons for the exploding bolts. So. In the end, uh, it's it was not a waste. It, like it was not a waste for me to go over there. I could have got like I could have gotten the other thing. The like I could have used my light crossbow, but that would not have given the same effect. Can I get enough souls to buy the key right now? Because I really don't want to. Yeah, no, I can't. Nope. Okay. I'm gonna go and hold on to my souls, and I guess we're gonna go and. <laughs> continue for the moment and I might want to go and uh, do some things <laughs> wow no might want to go and uh, beat the abyss watchers and buy the key with their souls which would be stupid and kind of annoying but well yeah just having to buy the key in general is stupid so let's go and knock a bolt in just in case I do quite like the crossbows in a certain way. I thought I wasn't going to like them because of the fact that they don't scale and all that jazz. But they're pretty dang good. They also have the exploding bolts, which is a really good uh, type of bolt. Or just a really good type of ammo in general. So, I'm happy. Alright, let me go and shoot him a couple of times. There we go. Before he starts... Uh, Making everybody go bonkers. Just going to ignore the dark rifts for the time being. Get the bonfire, and I think I'm gonna go and end it off uh, over here then. Well, the thing is, I kind of want to fight. The Abyss Watch in this episode, just so that I can start doing the Catacombs of Cards in the next episode. So fuck it, people. We're gonna go and do the Abyss Watch in this episode. You stupid piece of shit. Oh, I'm getting invaded. Joy. What the fuck? <laughs> How did I miss that? There we go. So people, I guess you're gonna see if um, if I can kill anybody in PvP with range attacks. This is gonna be shitty. 
There they are. Hello, friends. <laughs> I see you're a man of culture as well. I'm only using bows, which is gonna be funny as all hell. Because I'm not sure how I'm gonna deal with that. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yeah, PvP is gonna be impossible, man. What the hell is this? Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You may kill me now. Or oh, whatever. I don't know. Oh, pfft. Oops. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's, uh... Wow. He actually appreciated me, like... Doing bow only. <laughs> That's amazing. And I also got a... I got... <laughs> this is kind of cheating, but I got 99 embers. So, uh, yeah. I guess my soul issue is not an issue anymore. <laughs> is this cheating? Maybe. Well, I'm probably... Well, I don't care, man. I do not give a fuck. It's gonna, it's gonna like make it so I don't have to, to grind as many souls, which is, in my opinion, just fun. All right, shoot him! I love, I love like, I'm sorry, but I absolutely love PvP interactions like that, <laughs> and people just appreciate what you're doing. There's, there's no way that I'm ever gonna be able to. To defeat anybody in PvP with with my bows only, Un unless if, if unless if they cannot notice, like I'm sorry, unless if they don't notice me, and I can have like and I have the availability of great bows. I think great bows can, like if I can snap somebody from a distance in the head with a great shot, is probably gonna. That's that that might give me a victory. <laughs> Just go and kill him while he's rolling at me. Ooh, I almost have enough souls to to buy the key. Hmm. Something in me tells me that it like something in me wants to. Uh. Hmm. You know, what, people. I think I'm gonna do things differently. So I'm probably gonna be fighting the Abyss Watchers in the next episode, and in this episode, I'm still gonna go and uh, get the other thing. Um. Yes. No, I'm gonna go and get patches. As much as it pains me to pay this amount of souls to buy a goddamn key, but you know what, I'm gonna stop crying about it because it's not gonna help anybody. <laughs> it's just gonna be a thing. Let me through the wall, please. There we go. Nice suit. I'm really hoping that Patch is going to appear right now, though. Because I'm not sure if he does. I don't know when he does it, so... I hope so in any case, because otherwise I'm going to have an issue. Nice. Alright, cool. We got Patches. We got him, boys! The annoying thing is that Patches does use a shield. There we go. So, I think that I can actually roll down this thing. Instead of jumping. Yep. That is a much better strategy than jumping like I did before. Awesome. Alright, got myself some Firekeeper stuff, which I can... I guess I can wear if I want to. Also just noticed that I still don't have a homer bone, so I think I'm gonna buy a homer bone with my leftover souls. Uh, this dude is gonna be an issue. Well, I guess we're gonna see how it goes. Also, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm gonna back off for a moment. Roll. Because I did not want to shoot something as strong as that at him. Uh, let me go and shoot him in the head there. With my first shot. Ow. 
<laughs> well, you know, let's just go and forget their souls and uh, kill patches. <laughs> well, either kill patches or get killed by patches. No, I don't care about those souls. Those aren't really too many souls, so... I have not had patches in Firelink Shrine in a long-ass time. I'll just forgive him, I don't care. <laughs> and here he has! Here he, ha here, here he has? Wow, no. Here we have it. It's uh, poison arrows. They do 10 damage. <laughs> but they can poison the enemy. If I shoot enough of them at him. That's so many things. I'm gonna shoot you and hope that I'm gonna be able to kill you. No, let me go and use an ember. Because I have 99 of them. <laughs> uh... I'm patches, unbreakable patches. Wow, he stopped blocking at the perfect moment. <laughs> Using spears. Get a life, man. <laughs> spears suck. Well, they suck in my opinion. Yeah, you think you might have some range on me, but... You're bloody wrong, buddy. I'm the one with the range now. <laughs> Look at me. I have zero range now. I love the fact that this works. <laughs> Alright. Oh, yes, keep doing those jump attacks. More counter damage for me. Come on, buddy. I missed. Wow, I shot over his shoulder. That's a little bit shitty. Come on, buddy. Let me go and heal up, because I can. I'm enjoying this playthrough so much, by the way. This is such a fun playthrough for me. <laughs> the biggest issue that I have is still the Deacons of the Deep. But I, you can also just, like, skip the Deacons of the Deep until you reach... Um, like, until you reach Ears of the Royal Valley. You don't have to... Um, God, fucking why? Alright, come on. There we go. Why, mate? You can also just, like, skip the Deacons of the Deep until you're right at the uh, east of the Boyo Valley. And at that point, we can also go into Small Ring Lake and get a lot of Titanites, like, large Titanite and all that so. Not sure if you could get any new arrow types, though, or bolts. Of that, I'm very unsure, but... You might be able to get some of those. Alright. An awfully warm at that. Yes, I just killed the man. Deal with it. Uh, let me go and get the homer bone. I only have one of those right now, right? Okay. So now I can buy poison arrows if I want to. But I don't really want to. I really like the black leather stuff, and I think I also kind of want to buy this. Well, you know what? Let's go and sell a couple of my arrows. <laughs> uh, the thing is, if I didn't get, if I didn't have these embers, I would have just grinded souls. So I really don't care too much about using them. I do have this now. I really like this, but it doesn't really fit the cosplay that I'm trying to go for. Which is kind of unfortunate. Hmm. 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 I think I can deal with this. Yeah, sure. Alright people, that's going to be it for this episode, so I hope you enjoyed this uh, pretty dang insane episode of just that. I was playing Dark Souls 3 The Weapon Plagues, and next episode we're going to go and deal with the Abyss Watchers, and as long as the Abyss Watchers don't go horribly wrong, probably some part of the Catacombs of Karsus. Goodbye.